In this physics tutorial video, we'll be trying to solve this question on the work done on an inclined plane. The question says a girl with mass 60 kg slides 3 meters down an inclined plane as shown in the picture. All right, so here's a picture here. The A part says calculate the work done on the girl by gravity. B part says calculate the work done on the girl by the normal force. So that's the question for um, this particular video. Now, how do we solve this question? Of course, first things first, let me list out this, um, of course, solution first. Um, I'll take out the solution. Now, let's list out given parameters, all right? So given what and what am I given in this question? Given the first thing there, they said um, a gear with mass 60 kilogram. So the first thing I'm giving there is mass mass m is equal to 60 kilogram okay the side slides three meters down an inclined plane all right number two i will call it uh, distance or slope or number two we call this distance so the distance of the inclined plane uh let me call this s has been equal to three meters okay i have this they said as shown below. All right, so you have the questions here. Now, in solving this, my first task would be to draw a free body diagram. All right, now draw, draw a free body diagram. All right, so I'll draw a free body diagram for this. Okay, now in our previous class, I taught the concept of a free body diagram for an inclined plane. All right. I'll leave the link to that video in the video description. To check the video description, you see a link to our first class where I analyzed a body placed on an inclined plane. All right. For this particular question here, I'll just draw a free body diagram for this question. And to do that, first things first, I want to get the inclined plane. So um, I want to get the inclined plane something of this nature. This nature here, this. And from here, this way here, this. The angle there, this is about 40 degrees. So I have 40 degrees. Now, in drawing free body diagram, a free body diagram is simply a diagram that shows all the forces acting on a particular body at a particular time. Now, to, for me to represent this girl here, I don't necessarily have to draw this girl. No, I can just come here, draw a particular thing here. I could just do this. Let's see here. I'll do this this way do this this way then do this this way all i have to do here is to label this okay before then uh this way here all right so all i have to do here is to label this girl g i r l so basically this represents the girl let me write this properly uh g i r l so basically this represents the girl for the Free, free body diagram okay this would work for the girl now the question is this if a girl is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to an inclined plane what and what are the forces that act on her as i said again in our previous video i already discussed all of these concepts the first force that acts on this girl of course is the force that tends to pull this girl downwards like this all right so you have a force acting here trying to pull this girl downwards in that previous video, I discussed that the force that tries to pull an object, right, on an inclined plane downwards is given by mg sine of theta, all right? This was discussed in our previous class. Again, I'll leave the link in the video description. That's the first thing there. Number two, depending on if you're being given a frictional force, okay? If you're given a frictional force, of course, the frictional force will act in the opposite direction. So, assuming this question has a frictional force, you have ff here that is showing frictional force but in this question here no frictional force was um was stated so we'll just leave out this part so that part is gone the next thing that acts here is your normal force or normal reaction don't forget that normal reaction acts upwards like this okay and of course the weight will act downward this way All right weight acts this way All right so you have the weight acting here weights w is equal to mg the normal reaction is actually n and of course if i trace this downward like this this way here i'll have something like this 
okay now for this let's say the force goes downward like this uh -huh. what we have here this would actually be mg cos theta so I have this as mg cos of theta now the cost of putting cos theta here and sine theta here as i said has been explained in a previous class i'll leave a link to that class on mechanics in the video description but basically this is a simple idea of a free body diagram okay um one thing again normal reaction should be pointing upwards like this very important all right you have to show direction so i have this all right so this is my um free body diagram for this question now having done this we can now proceed to answer the question the question what a says work done on the gear by gravity so let's get the a part a part what is the work done on the so the a part says work done on the gear by gravity work done on the girl by gravity right how do you calculate that first things first let's write this as w of gravity okay so work done by gravity don't forget that work done is equal to force right a particular force let's call this force times distance this is the um that's the formula for work done force times distance now let's get the force and then let's get the distance for this question here when we talk about gravity we know that gravity is a force that try, that tends to push or pull body towards the earth's surface for this girl here the force of gravity will be acting this way here this trying to pull for this girl here the force of gravity will be acting this way here that's this trying to pull the girl towards the end of this particular um inclined plane all right that's how the force of gravity will act right to so try to pull the girl towards the bottom of the inclined plane in essence we'll be using the force that corresponds with this particular direction as the force of gravity which in this case here becomes what there mg sine theta all right so mg sine theta is the force that corresponds to that direction so it becomes the force we'll use in this case here so that means the force here is equal to mg sine of theta times the distance if you look at the question here they, get, they said the girl slides a distance of three meters so from where she started to the end of the uh, let's use this to represent that um from here to the end of the slope here from where she started to the end of the slope like this like this what she has here is about what the three meters so she moved about three meters she slanted three meters till the end of the slope. Now, with that being said, it means that the distance of the force becomes three meters. So I'll come here and I'll put my distance as three meters. So I have this. All right, I'll just write three. Let me, let's impute value. So mg, what's m? m is your mass. From here, mass is 60. Theta is 40 degrees. So it becomes m 60 times g, constant 9.8 into sine theta it's um 40 degrees then times three all right so from this you pick up your calculator and let's see what we get all right so let me get my calculator very quickly so what i have here becomes 60 times um 9.8 times sine 40 close your brackets then times three now, if you do this correctly, if you punch this correctly, your value will give you 1133. Please make sure that your calculator is in degrees. 1133.87 approximately. I have this. So I have this one here. If you look at what we are calculating, it's work done. And work done is in joules. So this in joules or Newton meter, of course. Joules and Newton meter are the same thing. So hence, the work done by gravity on the girl is about. 1133.87.88. All right, approximately you have 877. That's about 88. Okay, looking at this, we are calculating for work done by gravity. Work by gravity, work is measured in what the joules. All right, it becomes 0.88 joules. That's it. Of course, joules is the same thing as Newton meter, so we can say. 1133.88 newton meter the same thing so this is how you calculate the work done on the girl by gravity
that's your first task all right all right let's look at the b parts there let's look at the b part there so b what's the next question here next question here says um b part says calculate the work done on the girl by the normal force all right work done on girl by normal force work done on girl by normal force All right so let's call it w normal that's work done by the normal force and that's t equal to force you see the force times distance okay so note that work done is always force times distance it's just depending on the kind of force you're using there that's all and that's equal to now in this case here the emphasis is on the normal work done by normal now going back to our free body diagram where's your normal your normal is this one here it's n it's called the normal or the normal reaction that's n here so it becomes normal reaction n so the force here becomes the normal reaction n times the distance all right so let's say the distance for this we'll go back to our question and then we'll pick out values what's the value of n on an inclined plane now the value of n is simply equal to the value of the force opposite it if i look at this here n is upwards here Directly opposite this downward here, you find mg cos theta, this same thing here, which is directly opposite n, just like this. You can see here in this inclined plane, all right? So the value of n on an inclined plane is mg cos theta, all right? You take notes there. That becomes this as mg cosine of theta times the distance. Now, looking at this, looking at this question again from the free body diagram, where does the normal force tend to push the body? The normal force tends to push the girl upwards. You can see here, it's clear on the diagram. The normal force wants to push the girl upwards. That's up the inclined plane. And the question is this. From what you have here, does the girl move upward, up the inclined plane? Is there any distance between the girl? Let's say the girl now goes upward like this. Let's show you this. Okay, let's say the girl now goes upward like this. Such that, they, such that you now have a distance from here to here, which becomes the distance of the normal force. Is there any distance like this um this one here do you have a distance such as this this one here the answer is no all right there's no distance such as this no the girl is still on the inclined plane so what does this mean it means that the normal force has no distance the normal force is unable to pull the girl up from the inclined plane hence the distance upwards is zero that's the concept here so times distance zero um, if you want, you can impute value. This is equal to your mass is 60 times gravity is 9.8. Cosine of theta is 40 times 0. Now, without stressing yourself, anything times 0 is 0. This becomes what there? 0. So for this question here, you can see that um, the work done on the girl by gravity is about 1133.88 joules. Why the work done on the girl? by the normal force is about zero right because the normal force does not um, pull the girl up the inclined plane so that's so basically this is how you solve this question okay now let me give you a task here now this same question here the same question i want to increase the angle here from 40 let's say this is about 60 degrees all right 60 degrees upwards okay the mass of the girl is no longer um 60 kilogram but 90 kilogram now take the distance to be eight meters all right so your question here is simple it says a girl with mass 90 kilogram slides eight meter down an inclined plane as shown in the picture like this so in the picture now the angle is about 60 degrees a says calculate the work done on the girl by gravity b says calculate the work done on the girl by the normal force so solve these two questions leave your answer in the comment section and i will tell you if your answer is correct or not okay all right guys so don't forget that you can check out my available courses on my website simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses or you can look at the available books at www.jonahimano.com forward slash books all right do well to register an account to the website and then proceed to get any of the available courses or books you can also join my channel membership to get access to exclusive classes for 
just channel members all right i'll leave a link to my website as well as to join my channel membership in the video description also i'll leave a link to a whatsapp channel all right so join and then you get updates on a whatsapp channel all right all right guys so as usual if you enjoyed the video please do want to hit the like button like this video leave a comment for the comment i give you a task all right you have a and b just type a leave your answer there b leave your answer there and i'll tell you if the, your answer is correct or not okay i'll give you a reply i will tell if your answer is correct or not don't forget to subscribe all right do want to subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here and you're yet to subscribe please do want to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content finally don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn all right many thanks and see you in our next class